thing about theater that most excites me is that it can never be replicated again in the exact same way. My name is Evan Linder. I graduated from College of Charleston in 2004. I am one of the founders of a theater company in Chicago. We're called The New Colony. We're in our eighth season right now. We just finished our 23rd world premiere play. I grew up doing theater when I was 10. I was in my first professional show. That's what I decided to do with my life after that. My first job out of college, I was starting a internship at Playhouse on the Square in Memphis. And I did 14 months there and I was in nine shows and uh, I built nine sets that year and I ran box office and I kind of learned what it meant to run a theater. And after I was there for a year, I moved up to Chicago just to be an actor. At that time, I kind of met the other founders of the New Colony there in Chicago. We started a company where we insisted that we were just gonna tell our own stories and that we weren't going to produce anybody else's work but our own. I didn't know when I moved to Chicago that you're not meant to just be one thing in the theater. If you're an actor, you need to be a sound designer too. <laughs> or you need to be a writer, or you need to direct. It seems like a very simple platitude probably for most people in the theater. Uh, I just remember it being monumentally important to me when I first heard it, when someone described acting as lying. You're just making up stories. You're just lying. Wayne Wilson was my professor in there. He slammed his hand down on the desk and said, that is not true at all. Acting is telling the truth. I think that is everything that drives what I want to do when I'm acting and what I want to do when I'm writing. If I ever feel like something isn't working is usually when I realize that I'm not telling the truth. Yeah, the advice I would give is find collaborators, find people who get excited by the same things that you get excited about. There's so many kind of opportunities and avenues after you graduate to express yourself. So I think kind of being here and learning what I learned in Charleston and realizing that I had majored in something that I loved and love doing, and that's a great thing to feel when you graduate, that there's still so much unknown that you're about to find out and learn, because there's no one right way to do anything. 